All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Prison Architect. This is episode five of our current series. And last episode, we got 30 prisoners in all at once. Uh, we had to build some solitary for them. And we solved most of the problems. That was all the problems apart from this guy here, uh, Damon. Damon is criminally insane and we do not have a house for any criminally insane inmates at the moment. Uh, if we were to look to our grants, we would have a grant for it if we chose to do so. And to get that grant is going to require a very expensive process of building 10 padded cells. Um, we don't have the money for that at the moment. Um, to create a criminally insane wing it's probably at this stage going to involve a... Oh, hello! Look who I've just spotted in here. We have a gang member. He's obviously up to no good. Let's play and see what he gets up to. And can we follow him? I mean, yes, but I, I, I don't... Oh, that's it. Double click on him. Um, this fella's obviously up to no good. Notice how easily I get distracted. Uh, this guy has no need to be taking the long way around. Let's uh, double up. Alright, he's obviously got what he wants. That is probably some contraband that he has. Search prisoner. Continue to follow him. It is highly probable he has something on him that he should not have on him. Because there's no need for prisoners to be in these outer sections. We do have 14, 13, 12 available guards. Fluctuates between around about 12 and 16. So a guard should be on its way. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit more. Wonder if the guards went right. Oh, there's the guard there. Right, Mr. Pigeon. With the silly tattoos on his face. He has a knife. Yep, there we go. One knife removed from the prison. I'm just going to have a little look to see if there are any other prisoners in here because that is a contraband risk. And I believe the answer is no. How did he even get there? He must have went either through parole or through visitation. So, to fix that, and yes, I'm aware I've just left my criminally insane prisoner uh, left cuffed up in a cell, but tough. We're going to go to, is it, I think it's deployment, and we're going to go access only into those rooms. And we are also going to just fill out the rest while we're here. Staff only for armory and kennel. We really need to block off this corridor to be staff only. Depending on what goes in this room, of course. And we need to staff only the whole outside perimeter. That makes sense. And it's also worth putting access only into those three areas and the kitchen. Staff room should obviously be staff only. And we're going to leave that there. We just had a grant completed. Uh, I believe that was the Find 10 Illegal Narcotics. Which does now make building the criminally insane wing a valid option. The other option is very quickly get through both of these farming grants 
and then do it. I think I might take that plan because we're not going to need prisoners out here to do it. In fact, the reason we took these grants is because we we felt we could do them without prisoners. I just promised prisoners in the last episode. So what do we need to do? We need to... Well, in fact, this one's already on its way. Uh, basic farming. Hire farm worker staff member. Staff farmer. Done. Correctly build functional vegetable allotment room. So rooms, vegetable, let's go 15 by 10. What else do we have to do? A functional fruit and farming field room. So we need all three of these rooms for that grant. 15 by 10 on all of them. I don't know if those numbers are good numbers or bad numbers, but it is what's happened. Each of these rooms need a shed. The shed automatically highlight it. Oh, it does. Shed. Don't know where the shed should go in the room. First time I've used these mechanics. There's my cling bin, that's new. Practice. Oh, I've got lots of new things in here. Uh, not necessarily needed for the grant. Now, these rooms will become valid as soon as the sheds are built, I believe. Then plant five crops of any type in each room. So is there uh, seeds that we need to worry about in here? Okay. So potato plant is unlocked, apple tree is unlocked, orange tree and barley plant. Other things are saying I require farming, so I can build those without farming. There's farming. We'll get forest look forest great labour for the future. Uh, we're not going to spend too much more of our money yet because we have plans for it. Those sheds require water, which would actually mean it'd be better to have further up the field. We'll go to our utilities regardless and cool down some water. So, farming, we have under seven hours to complete. However, I'm just wondering, do we need to wait that long? Barley will just go in. Which one does barley go into? It won't let me put barley in anything. Apple tree. I mean, that would be fruit orchard, but... Do you think we need farming for everything? And it's just... For some reason not greyed out these options? I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand why some appear to be unlocked but are unplaceable. So if you guys have any light to shed on that, let me know. Failing that, we'll be waiting our seven hours for farming to become unlocked. I'm surprised we could even build the rooms while farming was locked. It doesn't make much sense to me. Anyway, let's head back to our grants. Basic farming, fingers crossed, will be completed. Give something back. We are 49% into. Do I need to build more power to push that along? We're still producing much more than we are using. Those batteries, however, are not full. Let's just spend 
a little bit of money. Do we want to spend more money on that? How do I tell how much money I'm making? 865. Ah, right, that's just ticked over at midnight. So it is per day. And this is just going to slowly tick up. Now we have a cat. But our cat, I believe, is... If we go to Green Energy Goals... Goal 3, our power export cap is increased to 1,000 units. Now that does not necessarily mean 1,000 units of money. That means 1,000 units of energy. Although, I'm quite sure... Power export, 685... Sorry, 865. And I'm sure this was 865 units that we had extra. So I think actually a unit of power is worth one dollar I guess dollar pound money one money so that actually tells us we can be getting an extra 240 ish per day if I was to build some more electricity stuffs. I'm going to stick you in there. Cop distribution provides control over where present ingredients of what? I don't even really grasp what that said. Uh, although I'm assuming that dingling means yes, farming is approved. So now, if we go to objects, can we plant in our farms? Apple tree, that was one that we tried earlier. We still can't seem to place an apple tree. I don't know why. Compost fertilizer. Oh, wait a minute. We're trying to plant this on grass, aren't we? We need to... Yes, I think the problem is we have to change this to dirt or some such. Let me see if that is in here. So there's four rooms. First three are required for planting. They must be placed outdoors and will require a shed. Used as a water source. That doesn't say anything about the... Aha, here we go. Crops can only be grown in their specific rooms and can only grow in the following flooring types. Dirt, mud, grass, grass corner or flowery fields. Okay, so what are we on here? Uh, are we not... is this not grass? Uh, I would have almost swore that this was a... Uh, it's not grass. Oh, what are you? Sand? Are you sand? Your sand, okay. Right, mud might be the. They're all slow. 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 Is anyone cheaper than the other? Well, grass is more expensive. I think mud. 10 by 15. 10 by 15 and 10 by 15. Growing our fruit and veg and mud. I think that was the problem. I take it everything is the same. Yes, it's on all the crops are under that. Okay, so now we should be able to plant. Uh, what should we plant? They actually have different statistics as well. Um, they can be sold for different quantities of money. So, carrots we can sell for £4 each. £3 each for potatoes. £4 each for tomato plants. 4 for cabbage. 4 for apples. Oh, 6 for banana tree and peach tree. 
three pound for oranges, barley we have three pound each, six pound each for wheat, five pound each for corn. So we want to plant what well, as going to sell for six pound each. And we can pop this in our farming field. And that came with 20 seeds, so I only get charged for one of them. Yes, I think that's how that works. Corn plant, you're £5 each, but you go in the same row where we can sell things for six. Oh, but the diversity. Help us. I get charged more there. You only have 10 seeds. Ah. So. The wheat is the better option in here, is it not? This costs 300, 300 for 10 seeds. And we get 20 times £5 profit. This costs us 200 for 20 seeds. Ah, four pieces of fruit. This gives us five years of corn, okay. So 300. We get 300 times 5, which is 60. 60 times 5 is 300. Oh, we get our money back for that. Really? Our money back? So you don't get any profit at all. Here we get 20 seeds for 200. It yields 4 pieces. That's 800. Why am I thinking the wheat is the better option here? I think the wheat's the best option. Um, and the trees, banana and peach, they were the good selling options. And with the banana, you get five seeds with a yield of 16 bananas. Here we get five seeds with a yield of 10 peaches. So I think the bananas works out better in the long run. in there 12, 13, 14 banana trees and now we need a vegetable. So what did we put in here? That was barley, that was a bit of barley. So they're the farming, the fruits obviously the trees, the vegetables are up here. So tomato plants, Carrots gonna get 20 seeds for quite cheap. They only give you 10 seeds, but they yield 5 tomatoes. Everything else yields less. So I think tomatoes, without doing the maths in my head, are the best option here. Although I'm also just tempted to see how the game works with everything else. So we will put in extra rows, see what they all look like. And a cabbage patch. Alright, now we have one farmer. Is that enough? Not a clue. Probably not. Four farmers. We're still in the green, so that's fine. Now, there's a few other things in here that I did see. I saw drain pipes, crop sprinklers. Oh! Oh, we're going to put. those in where we're allowed to uh, 
it seems we can only put them on empty squares. So we use lose a little bit of yield here. We need to dismantle this seed if dismantle is in fact the correct word for a seed. We should be in objects. Crop sprinkler, there's the workman. Right, that should save our farmers a job in watering. Go to utilities. A fairly small water pipe will suffice. Okay, I guess that's a wait and see. Did we get the grant? Yes, we must have. We must have. Automatic crop planting. Fruit trees have ex are expensive, long growth times, but they have much higher yields. So we've got all three anyway. Well, it also looks like one of our prisoners has been released as we're getting another one in in the morning. Two prisoners up for parole. We have a parole class. That's fine. I wish I could just check these items and delete them. Once we've uh, read them. Automatic crop planting in the policy menu. Ingredients. Okay, what is the benefit of this? Crops cost 3,600 or we can just grow them ourselves. We'll play with this, I think, once we get some ingredients grown. Crop type natural or GM will go with natural. Continuous fertilizer. Compost fertilizer. Farm search frequency never. There's no prisoners into it. Farm search target. Since farming rooms aren't including shakedowns, this option to decide which items or entities are searched via the search frequency of. Well, we don't need to do anything. There's no prisoners involved in this farming process. So, none. None. I want the option of none. But I guess that's where never comes in. Right. Well, we have done absolutely hee-haw in managing our prison today. All we've done is dick about with the going green, whatever it's called, expansion pack. And fulfilling a grant which has left us with actually very much less money. We do have a self-sustaining. Higher five. Oh, that, this is going to happen itself, so it makes sense just to do this. Uh, and we can also take another two. Oh, that's going to be harder. That's going to be much harder. We'll not take that on just now. Uh, inmate nutrition research. I think we are going to do that while we still have low numbers in the prison. And... Criminally insane wing. It it feels like it's it's going to be overdue shortly. Um, we also have the cell block C. Raise our prisoner cap capacity to hundred. We need at least ten cells for the criminally insane wing, which means we could kind of work both of these together and get a double reward. That would be possible. 
There's really not much else to consider taking at the moment, though. Um, oh, have we've beaten our electricity grant as well. We must have... Yes, I've missed that, but we have beaten our electricity grant too. And we got an extra goal. We can actually now export 250 units. Can we look at our finance? Power export 865. That's per day. We could add in more. We definitely could add in more. Is there any other benefits to these green energy goals? Could get extra 5,000 per day if we took that one on. The percentile bonus to reformation rates. For completing the program. But what? What? Oh, that's um, that's when we get prisoners to make their own solar panels. I think we're a long way off that. The player must not use power station for ten days with prisoners present. Oh, that is ticking down actually. So that is going to complete in a lot of hours. Uh, rewards, one green energy energy source of each type. We get that for free. I think by the time we get there that's going to be minimal profit. Fully charge 100 batteries. We are 4% through that. Does that mean we have charged up one battery four times? Or does that mean we own Four batteries. Because we own four batteries, that would be four percent. Does it want me to build a hundred muddy batteries? Surely not. Although it would double our power output if we did it, but Oh, 100 batteries, no thank you. Can't be arsed with that. Anyway, ladies and gents, that appears to not have been Prison Architect today. That very much appears to have been Farming Simulator. Um, you can see everything in here is being planted. We're at risk of fire. Yippee! Ladies and gents, if you want to see some actual Prison Architect, Come back for the next one. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Join my Discord. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching an absolute buffoon. Go off on a wild tangent. And have a good day. We will catch you in the next one. Ta-ra!